Pick, Pick your, your nose. nose. That's right. That's it. And slowly bring it up. Spread out wide and just go side to side nice and slow. Nice and slow. Warming up our bodies here, folks. Welcome to a Wednesday morning. This is class number 22, by the way. Uh, has anybody been to all 22 classes? Maybe. Uh, pretty proud of that fact. We're, we're on class 22 of our online PE class. Thank you all for your support coming and sharing the word with everybody you know. It's a good way to spend an hour and get active and have some fun and learn some life skills. Sniff your left kneecap. Let me know what it smells like. It smells like broccoli. Oh, baby ball game's left knee smells like broccoli. Because I love broccoli so much. Yeah, that's healthy. Switch. Right knee. Carrots. Right knee smells like carrots. And a girl. I love Let's pick our strawberries. Ready, exercise. One, two, three, clap. 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 On the bee honkus, butterflies. Stretch it out. Our routine. Before we get active, before we start playing sports, we stretch it out. If you can get your knees all the way to the ground, wow, you're more flexible than me. And make a V, touch your left phalange. That's right, stretch it out. You can do the splits like baby ball game. Wow, go get it. Switch, touch the right phalange, folks. And then go to both of them, both phalanges. That's it. This is that time of the day when I encourage everybody to <laughs> text three friends. Oh, that hurts so bad. Text or call three friends. Tell them to come join us today because it's going to be epic. And let them know their kids are going to become better people after they watch this class. Modeling pose. Left leg out. Right foot across. Now twist this way, Avery Jean. Twist this way. That's it. And if your back pops, say spaghetti and meatballs. That's it. And hug that knee in. I love you, knee. I love you, Daddy. Yes, indeed. And a switch. Twist and look the other way. Twist and look the other way. If the back pops, say, oh, my lanta. And then hug it in. Hug it in. I love you, too. I love you, too, knee. Downward facing dog. That's the yoga. Upward facing dog. Bark like a dog. Half moon. This works a lot better if your shirt's tucked in. Works a lot better if the shirt's tucked in. Switch. Half moon. And up to the feet. We're hustle saluting. We're hustle saluting. How's the feed? Everybody good? Can everybody see me clearly? Hope so. Mr. Angel's in the house. That's what I'm talking about. Freeze. Faster. Freeze. Faster. Freeze. Three claps. One, two, three. All right. Today we've got punches across. So we spread our feet out a little bit, bend our knees like we're dancing on that toilet. And we're going to go punch across. Other way. Across. Three. Four. Punch, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Use the abs, use the core. Boom, boom, four more. Boom, boom, boom. Very good. Arms up high, alternating touch your toes. Right hand to the left toe, left hand to the right. Across, reaching across, up and down, reaching across. That's it. That's it. You got this. Yes. Five more. Four. Three. A little quicker. Two. One. 
Very good. Three claps. One, two, three. Now we've got the running man. This way a little bit, baby ball game, so you can see me. So what you're going to do is you've got arms going one way while the opposite foot goes back. And then bang. And then bang. And then bang. And it's kind of like a dance. We call it the running man. Go, 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 go. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, that's it, Fitbit. That's it, Mr. Angel. That's it, Orlando. Good job, Judge Junior. Ten more seconds. Running man. Running man. Running man. Running man. Yes, yes. Yes, and stop. Nice job. Okay. Swim arms. Time to swim. We'll go for 30 seconds. Swimming. Time for the backstroke. Keep swimming. Yes. Boy, it works a lot better when that shirt's tucked in. Now you've got the breaststroke. I think that's what this is called. Called the rush this actually might be called the butterfly. That's it. And stop. Very good. Flamingo stretch. Try to hold your balance. If anybody showed up a little late, no worries. Hop right into the stretch. Check in with your nickname. At a girl. Switch. If there's anybody in your room. That you can say something positive to, do it. Say at a boy or at a girl. At a girl. Uh -oh, no, thank you. Oh yes. And it's time for the karate. Up. Up. Touch it. Touch the hand. Touch it. Touch the hand. Leg kicks. Get it up there. Get the heart rate going. That's it. Nice, 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 nice. That's it. Keep kicking. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very, very nice. Hug yourself. Move your neck around. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Ryman's in the house. Love it. Outstanding. Let's go 10 jumping jacks all together. Ready, exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Team meeting pose. Team meeting pose on a knee, shoulders back. Balance an imaginary encyclopedia on your head uh, with good eye contact. First thing we got, it's two minutes of jogging, okay? We are going to be running back and forth. Your stairs, you can run in place. You can run around the house. On your marks, get set. Go. Quiet feet. Quiet landing feet. Land quietly, kids. Land quietly. Walk softly and carry a big stick. Who said that? This is the old quarantine pacer test right here. Teddy Roosevelt is correct. We had two people answer that. The show is in the house. We got a two minute jog going, Mr. Show. Keep it rolling. Stay the course, keep breathing. Knees up, toes out. Hey girl, baby. 
Okay. All right, parents, give your kids a little motivational support. Give them an atta girl. Give them an atta boy. You can do it. Ten seconds remaining. Finish strong. You got this. And bring it into the team meeting pose. Stop. Very nice. So before you get your water break, find this team meeting pose and try to sit up tall. Arms above your head. Open up those lungs. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Do that again. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Now, some of you are locked in. Some of you may be losing interest or losing your focus a little bit. I challenge you to stay with me all day long, okay? Uh, the mind is stronger than you think, so stay with me, kiddos. Let's not get off track. Water break. I'm going to read our two letters to baseball during our water break here. Orlando was running in circles. Um, Adam Schrader got the answer right with Teddy Roosevelt. Ryman had breakfast shakes for uh, breakfast. Pig checking in. Got a late start, but you're here. That's right. Okay. Dear baseball, as you're getting your water break, I miss you. I'm with my team. I miss the sandlot with Coach Ball game. Sometimes there's only five kids at the sandlot, but it's still fun. I can't wait until COVID-19 is gone. That was from Penguin. Let's give Penguin an attaboy. One, two, three. And a boy, Penguin. Very good. And this is from his brother, Pickle. Dear baseball, I love playing you. You are my favorite sport. I get excited when I play a game. I wish I could go back and play baseball with my friends and play more exciting games. And that's from Mr. Pickle. Let's give Pickle a round of applause. Nice job. Now, all of these letters that are coming in, at the end of the week, I'm going to put them in a bucket and I'm going to mix them around in that bucket. And I'm going to pick out uh, a winning letter and you're going to win an Easton helmet. That's right. Uh, I've also got some batting gloves that I'll be uh, doing a, a competition with as well. But please listen. This is a brand new competition. Some of you may not have heard this. It's called the Joe Buck Contest. Uh, he's my pal and uh, he is going to announce the winner of this contest and it's for you kids. If you want to be a broadcaster or if you um, maybe have an interest in broadcasting, send me a video of you broadcasting a real life situation. Okay. We've already had a couple submissions. One kid was broadcasting his mom shooting baskets in a basketball hoop. All right. So uh, be creative 30 seconds to a minute. And uh, the one and only Joe Buck's going to pick the winner. So it's a pretty cool deal. Uh, I hope you send those in to me. Instagram, tag me. You can email me, whatever you'd like. Okay, folks, uh, let's go ahead and, and, and change it up a little bit. Get a trash can. Find you a trash can. Now, that might mean you have to empty the trash real, real quick, kids, which will be uh, a small part of your what a ball player does activity anyway. But you're going to need a trash can. I tried to shoot the ball into the trash. That's right. And you're going to need three cones. If you don't have cones, then you can use any kind of uh, marker, like paper or uh, pants or shirt. But we've got one cone, two cones, and three cones. All right. Very good. So once again, I got a trash can and I've got three markers. And yes, you may have guessed it, with our balled up sock, with our balled up sock, and you might have to ball up two socks, you're going to try and throw the ball into the trash can. But before you throw every time, you've got to do three body squats. One body squat, two body squat, three body squat. Then you shoot. Ooh, I missed. So I got to come back to that same cone, one body squat, two body squat, Three body squat. Okay, I made it. Now I go get it and I run it back to the next cone. All right, this is cone number two. One body squat, two body squat, three body squat. And then I, yes, I made it. So I go and get it. And then I come. 
to the third one, the last one. One body squat. I've always got to do three body squats before I shoot. Oh, I missed it. I got to go back and get it. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to say on your marks, get set, go. And then type in when buddy's done. I want you to actually type in, if you can, parents, when you make the first basket, when you make the second one, and when you make the third. But before you shoot, each time, you got to do three what? Body squats. Okay, baby ball game. So you're at the first one. I hope we're ready to go. We call this the trash can game. On your marks, get set, go. Three body squats, and then make your shot. All right, now she missed it. She's got to go and get it. And then run back to that same cone. One body squat, two body squat, three body squat. Ooh, good try, good try. She's got to run and go get it. Okay, water slide got the first bucket in. Anybody else? I'm giving shout outs. I did it. There you go, she made it. Now she goes to the second cone. And she's got to do her three body squats. Anybody else can I give a shout out to? Water slide finished the second bucket. Mr. Angel just made the first bucket. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, good try. Encyclopedia and Bike Rider are making baskets. I love it. Oh, my Lanta, I have a winner, and it is Orlando. Who can finish in second place? Awesome. Welcome in, Jung family. Uh, as you can see. We're doing our trash can with a balled up sock game. Play tag got her first one. At a girl, play tag. Encyclopedia is on the third one. Judge Junior, four for four. Boom, she made it. Now she goes back to the last cone. Soto just made the first. At a boy, Soto. Oh, good try. Usually the team or the player that hustles the most and stays the most positive wins in these kind of games. Welcome, Robo5. Oh, Mr. Angel decided to set up a fourth cone. Link is done. Way to go, Link. I've got some people setting up a fourth cone way, way back. If you want to go ahead and do that, do it. All right. Here we go, baby ball game. One body squat, two body squat, three body squat. Oh, good try, good try. I like how baby ball game's not giving up. She's keeping that smile. Soto has made his second basket. Pig got all of them. And a boy pig. Anybody else? Anybody else done? Race car got three. And a boy race car. Way to go. I got it. There it is. And her third. Very nice. So if you've finished. Let's go ahead and go team meeting pose. If you haven't finished, take a team meeting pose also. And let's just give each other uncomfortable eye contact for 10 seconds. If you blink, you lose. Nice, very good. Now get you a little water. Um, Catching Kitty got uh, 60. Wow. All the toys got three. I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? 60 what, Catching Kitty? That's amazing. Way to go, Soto. Judge Junior. Outstanding. Um, folks, that's called the trash can game, and we will be playing that more often. Uh, right now, though, it's time to get your notebooks because we are doing our seven drills. Okay. Yeah. Baby Ball Games got her notebook. If you, yours in if you haven't been here in a while, uh, you need a tennis ball. And if you don't have that, a balled up piece of paper or a sock. Okay. And then a piece of paper and a pen as well. Uh, a lot of you have been taking this class every day. So you've been tracking these numbers. Get your notebooks out. And somebody tell me what's the first column? What's our first exercise? I know, I know. Dad. Okay, don't do it. Let, let, let's see if they can uh, they can get it before. Who can type what our first exercise is in our notebooks? There we go. You got that. 
I'm waiting to see who can get it right in your notebooks. That's right. High five the sky. Orlando and water slide tied. So our first drill is 60 seconds of high five the sky. We toss the ball up in the air and we meet, squeeze, and freeze. Does the cup of soup count? No, it does not. We've got a high five the sky above our head. I've been talking to so many Major League Baseball players, and I ask them, hey, what do you tell the kids to do right now? They say, toss a ball up in the air and work on catching it. Hall of Famers, they say the same thing. So on your mark, get set, go. One. One. Two. Got to be above your head, right? Meet it. Squeeze it. Meet it. Squeeze it. Meet it. Squeeze it. But don't forget to freeze it. High five the sky. Just like that. Fingers to the sky. Boom. Boom. If you don't have a tennis ball, wiffle ball. If you don't have that, sock. 30 seconds remain. We've got these notebooks to track our numbers because we want to get better. This high five the sky drill brought to you by the Rich Eisen Show. I'm repping the Rich Eisen Show shirt today. Way to go. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. Five seconds remaining. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Go write your number down, baby ball game. How many? I wasn't keeping score of me because I was just training. Write your number down. Knott's Berry Farms in the house. Okay, who can beat um, who can beat Orlando and Waterslide and telling me what's drill number two? What is drill number two, folks? Encyclopedia got 58. Orlando with 40. Way to go, Knott's Berry Farm. Catching Kitty with 60. High five in the sky. Bike Rider got 50. Way to go. Hustle salute from Speedy. At a boy. Hustle salute. What is our second drill? Our second column. In our uh, hand-eye coordination, good guess. It is not the alligator. That's third by the Lloyd family. What is it? The wall drill. That's right. The wall drill. You toss the ball against the wall, and then you catch it just like that. On your marks. Get set. Go. Remember, cup of soups don't count. Get you over here, baby. Okay. Right here. And get pretty close to that wall. Get pretty close to that wall. Toss it up against the wall. You got to catch it. Fingers to the sky. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. Super Henry is in the house. Uh, we're doing our notebook work, our seven drills. And this is the wall drill, Super Henry. Toss it up and then catch it. You want it to bounce right back at your nose. Darlene in the house. a girl. Soto, great job on the high five the sky. I love it. Amma says, good job, Avery Jean. Keep it up. Remember the cup of soup. We can't count that as a point. Toss it underhand so it bounces right back at the forehead. There you go. 20 seconds remaining. If you want to do this with a glove, do it, baseball players. Remember to step towards it. Step in the way, not out of the way. Step in the way. And, of course, having your shirt tucked in works real well. Ten seconds. And stop. Very nice. That's the wall drill. Uh, write it down. How'd you do, baby ball game? Good. Um, not only are we working on our catching, but we're working on our writing. Learn how to write. Learning how to put uh, graphs together. So today is April 1st. That's no fooling. Uh, so on your piece of paper with April 1st, you should have two columns filled out. High five the sky and wall drill. What is our third? The Lloyd family already said it. It's the alligator. That's right. Uh, I'll show you from this direction. I throw the ball up against the wall. It rolls on the ground and I do a fielding triangle alligator. From this angle, you see I'm fielding the ground ball with my alligator mouth, just like that. You use that wall right there, baby ball game. On your marks, get set, go. How many alligators can you get? Orlando, that's right. Alligators, 
Penguin and Pickle, uh, I hope you were here. I, I read your letters today. I hope you were here to see that. If not, you can see the playback. Welcome in, Luke. Welcome in, Yard Baseball. We're working on our fielding triangle alligator. I got to interview Ozzie Smith, and he said growing up in Watts, California, he would do this drill all the time. He didn't have enough money for a real glove. Does anybody know what he would use? A brown paper bag. He'd use a tennis ball and a brown paper bag, and he'd work on fielding the ground ball. See the ground ball, we get our behonkus down, we get our glove out in front, and you get it dirty, and the glove and our two feet create a triangle. Now the alligator smacks, smacks down like that. But you gotta get the behonkus down. Imagine you're a kangaroo. You don't wanna let the baby kangaroo fall out of the pouch. Stop, write that number down. Way to go, great hustle, baby ball game. Can anybody uh, tell me what number four is? I'll give you a hint. It involves a soccer ball. It involves a soccer ball. I did that. It's the juggling. Juggle with your foot, with your knee, with your chest. Go ahead and use the grassy area there, baby ball game. But you're trying to soccer, soccer juggle. And if it hits the ground, it's okay. Don't start over at zero. See how many total you can get. Figure eight's coming up soon, Encyclopedia. But first, it's soccer juggling. Tap, 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 juggle so it doesn't hit the ground. On your marks, get set, go. Way to go, Soto. Good job on the wall drill. Jackie Moore, welcome in. Mr. Angel, you got it right. Soccer juggling. Mr. Angel's filling out his sheets for sure. We've got 12 on Facebook, 30 on YouTube, 3 on Instagram. How do we double those numbers, parents? I don't know. How do we get them up? Text your friends. Tell them. Shouldn't have to beg them. This is an hour of entertainment where the parents don't have to be homeschool teachers. We're being active. We're learning how to be a better person. Keep the soccer juggling up. 20 seconds to go. If you don't have a soccer ball, use some socks. Bump, bump. I got two. Three, four. Oh, I got four. Five, six, seven. Three, two, one, stop. Write that number down. So on your piece of paper, column number one. High five the sky. Column number two, wall drill. Column number three, alligator. Column number four, soccer juggling. And somebody already said it. Number five is the figure eight. Figure eight. You can use that tennis ball for this baby ball game. What's figure eight? Through the legs like LeBron James, like Steph Curry. Each time it goes through the legs is a point. But you're really working your bee honkus. You're getting your bee honkus low to the ground. All right, dance on that toilet, folks. On your marks, get set, go. Can you get more than coach ball game? Stay low. If you bend over at your waist, it won't work. You got to bend the knees and get that bee honkus on a toilet. That's it. That way you have good posture and you can keep your head up. As a basketball player, when you're dribbling, you got to keep your head up. Why? Anybody know why? So you can see the floor, you can see your teammates, and you can make those epic passes. And you can move us the ball to the pitch. That's right. 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds remaining. Landon Foster, welcome. All right, you might want to be give up, giving up right now because this is a tough one, especially on your legs. But your mind is stronger than your behunkus. Your mind is stronger than your legs. Good job, Orlando. Good job, Speedy. Way to go. Alex Brunkhorst in the house. a boy. No, that's an a girl. That's Alex. Hey, I haven't seen you in forever. a girl. Landon in the house. Mr. Angel, way to go. And stop. Write that number down. That's column number five, the figure eight. All right. Who's been here all week long? Who can tell me? What's column number six? Hey, pigs, way to knock out those figure eights. Atta boy. Welcome, Lawton. 
hey, Instagram's growing. Somebody must have shared it on Instagram because we're getting more people. More on YouTube as well. Mrs. Ballgame's in the house. <laughs> Mrs. Ballgame uh, said, who can donate a soccer ball to us? This is it. This is a beautiful soccer ball. Orlando got it right, and so did Mr. Angel. The hula hoop. The hula hoop is our next one. It's number six, where you go around like this right here. On your marks. Get set. Go. Hey, let's give our gardener an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy. Attaboy. He's going to wait to do the weed eating uh, for another five, ten minutes. Half seconds to go. Oh, good question. I didn't get within six feet of him because we've got to have social distancing. Good question there, baby ball game. Hula hoop it. Your shoulders should be burning. Ooh, mine sure are. Wowzer. Stay with it. Stay with it. Nice job, Soto. Way to go. 68 figure eights in uh, Florida from Judge Jr. That's right, Jacob. No, you knew that. And stop. Write that number down, please. Dad, what, how does uh, 1,000 go? I got 1,000. Apparently, uh, Baby Ball Game got 1,000. Wow. How do you write 1,000? Now, there's one last one. Who can call it out? It involves a wooden spoon. You bounce it up with the, wooden, with the ball or the other um, stuff. That's right. That's right. You can use a sock. Yeah. How do you write 1,000? One and then three zeros. Or you can tap it up like that with a balled up piece of paper. All the toys did 60. Way to go. Outstanding. Mrs. Ballgame says thank you all for tuning in. That's right. Great support system we have. On your marks, get set. It's called the ping pong drill. Go. This is number seven. Here you go. Use that. Use that. And go do it in the grass. Go do it in the grass. 15 seconds down, 45 to go. All right, Penguin and uh, Pickle, you got that right. It's the ping pong. So did Jamie Lloyd. What's the nickname in that Lloyd family, Jamie? Ping pong drill is correct, Jacob. Bevmo checking in. Atta boy. Bevmo uh, from San Clemente says, good morning, coach. Good morning to you, Bevmo. 44 hula hoops by Soto in St. Louis, Missouri. You got 10 seconds left. See baby ball game tapping that tap, 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 tap. That's it. I love it. And stop. Fantastic. Write that number down. Okay. We spend about 10 minutes every day on those seven drills to work on our hand-eye coordination. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, you can just, uh, you can let that one go. She had a red spider on her notebook. So she doesn't want to go near it to write what the number is. So let's give her a bounce back salute. That's it. And let's give her an eye black salute, folks. Mustache, beard, sportsmanship. And it's still there. Mullet, and it's still there. But how's your, you going to get through it? Yeah, double bounce back salute. Very nice. Uh, get you some water if you need. And then I'm going to teach you a really cool baseball drill that I learned from a pretty awesome softball player. Uh, so get you some water while I set up this little thing, my Bob. All right. Baby Boggin, you want to play the drum? All right. Thank you, baby ball game. That's good. So you could take a team meeting pose while you're drinking your water. I just want to show you this drill. Jessica Mendoza posted this on her Twitter. See, I'm and, uh, the bat off that. That's right. You can set up a basketball or a soccer ball, some big ball. But back up for me, young lady. I don't want to hit you. Uh, and you're just going to practice hitting this ball off the tee. And what it does is it makes you stronger through the hitting zone. All right? Basketball, soccer ball anything, but if you're practicing hitting a big ball off of a tee, boom, it just makes your strength that much stronger. I think that's English. 
strength is stronger. OK, so uh, you don't have to do that right now. That is something you can do later in the day. But I wanted to give you that little tip. Um, now, we got about five minutes left. First things first, we got to go two minutes of what a ball player does activity. So uh, I already washed the dishes. I, I got mine out of the way this morning. But two minutes starts right now. Ask your parents, hey, what's something we can do to help out around the house? And go. What are you doing, baby ball game? I think she's cleaning her room. That is her. What a ball player does activity. And I know the kids love the shout out. So uh, type in, let me know. Yeah, Landon, it's a really good hitting drill. Uh, you can do that one handed or two handed, but it really gets you stronger. And that's uh, all uh, Jessica Mendoza. She taught me that one. Great softball player, Olympic uh, gold medalist. What activities are you doing? Speedy's helping with the dishes. boy, Speedy. You get a sportsmanship salute. I will say, if you have your shirt tucked in, you're going to clean your living room faster. Way to go, Orlando. Tucking the shirt in. I sure hope uh, Minecraft and Llama Shades and um, uh, Big Game Mikey can join us tomorrow. Hope they can all join us. Bevmo taking out the trash. Soto taking the folded laundry to the rooms. Ooh, that's a tough job, man. You don't want to drop that folded laundry. You got to have a lot of hand-eye coordination to do that. All of the toys, what are you doing right now? Laundry for Judge Jr. in Florida. Taking out the trash, Mr. Bevmo. Lando cleaning his room. Pig doing schoolwork, but he hasn't put a shirt on yet. Pig, no shirt needed. Wow. Judge Jr. is now bathing the dogs. I got to give you a dog bath salute. I'm, I'm going to brush my imaginary dog's teeth as well. That's the, that's the Judge Jr. salute. Pickle and Penguin are wiping the handles of the faucets with Clorox wipes. Wow. What are you doing there, uh, play tag? What are you doing, Flamingo? Fitbit is making his bed and filling his water canteen with his shirt tucked. Race car master also making the bed. Um, what else? What activities are you doing? And stop. Very good. Awesome job. So come on back. Flamingo and Play Tag are doing yard work. I love it. Come on back, everybody. Before we close up shop on this beautiful Wednesday, um, number one, don't forget the Joe Buck contest. Send me a video of you as a broadcaster. Mr. Soto uh, has sent one in already. He was broadcasting his mom shooting basketballs. Um, and my pal Joe Buck is going to announce the winner, and he'll retweet it. So get those videos in, uh, future broadcasters of America. Also, binge watch my YouTube, please. I've got a lot of fun videos, and they span the globe. Uh, skills, instructional skills. Some are just wacky and fun. Characters, all sorts of stuff. Some involve major leaguers like uh, Alex Bregman, Whit Merrifield. Um, and then some uh, are, uh, are, are me singing with The Bachelor. All good stuff. Um, anything else before I, I, I read my poem today? I think that's it. And by the way, keep spreading the word. Tell your friends. I appreciate all the love on Venmo. Uh, we're just asking for five bucks a week. Uh, as a donation, just so we can uh, stay above water ourselves and keep this show going. So uh, uh, obviously don't do that if you cannot do it. I, I know it's just a tough time for all of us. So uh, we appreciate all the, all the Venmo donations. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I wrote this poem a while back and it's called Game Day. And maybe this will inspire you kids to put the pen to paper and do a little bit of writing today as well. First inning, you hop out of bed, good morning. It's an exciting day indeed. 
Good morning, Mom. I'd like to make breakfast for the whole family. That's what a ball player does. Second inning. What's happening today? It's game day. I know exactly what to make. Something that creates lots of energy. Some eggs, some fruit, skip the cake. That's what a ball player does. Third inning. Gather around the table. It's time to be fed. No iPhones, no iPads. Let's conversate instead. That's what a ball player does. Fourth inning. Help clean the dishes. Is the kitchen in good form? Brush the teeth, comb the hair. Now it's time for the uniform. That's what a ball player does. Fifth inning. The socks, the pants, the jersey fits just right. Button up, tuck it in. That hat is out of sight. That's what a ball player does. Sixth inning. The car ride is festive. There's a baseball game in sight. Don't forget the eye black. The sun is shining oh so bright. That's what a ball player does. Seventh inning. Cleats on, glove on. The leaves say it's early fall. A little stretch and a quick jog. Then the umpire says, play ball. Eighth inning. You've worked hard for this moment. You're prepared and ready to go. There's no reason to be nervous. It's a game. So put on a show. That's what a ball player does. Ninth inning. You may win. You may not. The story isn't written yet. Smile a lot and enjoy every pitch. Is it time to have fun? Oh, you bet. That's what a ball player does. You can clap. Very good, very good. A little something that, that helps me pass the time uh, is reading books about baseball players and also writing poems. So if you guys would like to uh, uh, start writing some poems, I'd love uh, for you to send those in as well. Um, but that was our Wednesday class. We'll be back at 3 p.m. Pacific today for class number two. I'm running two classes a day. And if you'd like any baseball lessons, uh, I'm running FaceTime or Zoom private lessons for $20. And you can uh, join in with that. So just contact me. Um, I've been doing a, a, a good amount of private lessons over my iPhone in my backyard here. And it's been going great. The kids are in the backyard with their tees and their wiffle balls. And we've been working on skills. So um, lots to offer. Uh, any questions, throw them at me. I'll just hang tight for a couple minutes. If you have any questions on anything, lessons, uh, class, life, how much milk you should be drinking each day, let me know. You got it, Preeti. At a boy. Alan Smith in the house. Oh, yeah. And I'll be running a trivia night tomorrow night. Uh, with our buddies Ian Kinsler and Warstick uh, every Thursday night at 730 Pacific. If you're up that late, uh, I'm running a baseball trivia uh, contest and you get prizes if you win. It's really fun. Um, so there you go. Anybody got any questions? If not, I'll see you next time. Great stuff. Thanks, mom. Yep. Baby ball game did real good. Awesome. And a boy. Bye bye, Instagram. And bye bye, YouTube.